This video is about getting started with Steam VR. Uh, this is a blank project from scratch. Go to the Window Asset Store, and we're going to search for Steam VR. Okay, Steam VR. There you go. They have a free Steam VR plugin. Go ahead and download and import that. Okay, import. Okay, now that we've imported. You'll see the settings dialog pop up, and we'll just accept all the defaults. All right, you made the right choice. OK. Now we're done with the asset store window. OK, and now you're all set up. Right now we've got the default scene. And just to make sure, I'll do file new scene. We just have the camera and directional light and hit play. And the headset is already doing tracking, and it's set up to look around and render. Uh, but it's an empty scene, so let's look at some other stuff. If you take a look at the camera, now that we've imported Steam VR, there's now a target display option. I'll just leave that as one. And a target eye option. So you have the option of rendering this the camera in both eyes, or just the left eye, or the right eye. And that's if you want to do any stereographic rendering, like if you were showing cameras and you want to show a different camera in each eye so that things appear stereographic, you could do that. And then none would be uh, if you just want to render in the Unity editor, but not in the display for things like UI or 2D UI. If you didn't have a VR 3D UI already set up. Uh, let's set up an environment to run around in. So first we need a floor. So I'll just make a new game object plane. Okay. And just use some standard assets like import package characters. Okay, just import all that. Okay, now that the standard assets have imported, Let's go to the standard assets, characters, first person controller, prefabs, and just throw in a first person controller. We take a look at the first person controller. By default, it's controlled by the keyboard and mouse, and we don't want it to do a mouse look now that we have the headset, so let's disable that. So if we look at the first person controller, it's controlled by the script, first person controller script. And if we look at that, it's got some code in here to do a mouse look. And maybe we just add a little Boolean field here. Use mouse look. Okay, we'll set that to false. And anywhere that where it's trying to use this mouse look, we'll just turn that off. So if mouse look is on, go ahead and do the normal thing. If mouse look is on, if use mouse look is on, do the normal thing. Okay, there we go. So that should disable the mouse look. And let's look at the main ca camera and just delete the old camera and click on the first person character and just make sure that that has the main camera tag, which it does. Okay. And now we have the use mouse look field. It's off, so that should bypass the mouse look code. Okay. Here we go. Look is all controlled through the headset. If I move the mouse, it's not affecting the camera anymore. And okay, so it's running around. But one thing I can see already is that the keyboard isn't going in the direction that I'm pressing. So if I'm pressing forward, it's going in a different direction. And that potentially could just be that the orientation needs to be centered. 
So we can do a custom script for that. Let's make a new folder for our scripts. Okay, so we created a scripts folder. Inside the scripts folder, I'll make a new C sharp script and we'll call it Steam VR Recenter. So the idea is I'll tie it to the L key. If you press L, it'll recenter the view. So once that's done compiling, there we go. We'll add a new game object. Just call it the same name as the script. Add component. There we go. Steam VR recenter script. And if we go into the recenter script, all looks good. So how does this work? Well, first of all, we need a using statement to do Steam VR. So using valve dot VR. Okay, I'm not getting IntelliSense, but if we switch back, it's still okay. Okay, good. And for this script, let's keep it around. So I'll just put don't destroy and load game object. That way, if you ever switch scenes, you can always recenter and this the script will stick around. It's not something I need to run as frequently as an update because it's just once in a while. And I could check input for a key up event. So check if Input, key, get key up, and then use the key code L. So if the L button is, if the L key is pressed, then I can get the system from OpenVR. And then if that is not equal to null, I can use the system to reset seated zero pose. And that should recenter the camera when I push the L key. All right, save that, switch back. Okay, and I'm going to throw in a cube just so I know which direction I'm facing. Put that on the floor and just put it up there. Maybe two cubes. Control D to duplicate. There we go. So now we'll know which direction we're facing. And hit play. Okay. So if I push the L key on the keyboard, now it'll recenter. And now, there we go. Now, if I push forward, I'm actually going forward. Let's see. <laughs> it's going forward on an axis. All right, well, let's see where that's happening. And also, I could potentially fall off the floor, so let's make this plane a little bit bigger. Okay, so forward on the keyboard, what's that about? First person controller, W, forward. Okay, so let's change this a little bit. Instead of going in the direction of the player controller, go in the direction of the camera. So instead of using transform forward, I'll just put camera main.transform, and that'll be in the direction of the cameras. Forward and right. All the sphere casting stuff. Same deal. Just use the camera transform. Okay, that should be good. Now if I switch back to Unity.
Okay, and hit play. All right, so if I look around, I can hit, I'll look forward, hit L so it recenters. If I look over here, and I hit forward, it's going to walk in the direction that I'm looking. There we go. Yeah, so now we're using the headset direction for walking instead of the transform of the player controller. Perfect. All right. Well, this has been a video of how to get started with SteamVR. And thanks for watching.